Katrina, Katrina, I didn't really know, I knew climate change exists, but I didn't really feel and, and connect with it. But today I can say, after Hurricane Katrina, it's a, it's a connection that I will never ever forget in my life. After Hurricane Katrina, I experienced a devastation of everything I knew. 90% of the, of the houses, 90% of the businesses, 90% of my people were displaced. This is, this is where I live. This is where I am. This is where I physically, mentally live. Felt, tears, sweat. I'm coming to this place and everything I've known is gone. Can you imagine coming to a place and everything you've ever known is actually just gone? And that greenery is not landscape, and it's really white houses and people's lives out. And that's what brought me to this place in New York at this time to discuss with the legislators and my um, U.S. folks that live and breathe climate change and don't even realize it. I'm here to tell them climate change exists all over the world. After Katrina, I was a cosmetologist for 21 years, and everything that I knew before was gone. So I couldn't do cosmetology anymore. And I had to say, what am I going to do now? Am I going to try to rebuild my business where there's nothing and I can't rebuild because I was a winner? So I was left out because I was in the poorest community? So I decided, along with other women, to be an advocate. Okay? And through that advocacy, I've been actively going from city to city, country to country, saying climate change affects us. It affects us through our children. It affects us through our seniors. It affects our women. I'm talking about illnesses. I'm talking about asthma, respiratory disease, living wage. It affects us in every sector of our life, but people don't connect the two. Through climate change, we've lost jobs. Through climate change, we've lost lives. What do you want? The goal is to have more people involved and to become actively involved. Instead of sitting to the side and saying, well, that's not me, but it can be you. Because I've seen climate change go from this little town to this big town. I've seen fires in California where my girlfriend lived where there weren't any fires before. I've seen more floods where I didn't see floods regularly before. We saw Katrina after Katrina. It was like several hurricanes. Three months ago, my daughter's house flooded in Biloxi, Mississippi. She lost everything again. While we're thinking, oh, everything's fine, no more Katrina. Yes, there's things coming behind this. So by me advocating and telling people what's going on, it's going to bring back awareness. And I think more people join us in actively telling our legislators and our congressmen what is going on and what they have to do is for supporting us on this mission.